honestly guys i had no clue what to film for you guys i am very very disappointed right now because my bmx bike that i got is not working it's acting up right now and i can't be doing any bmx videos as of right now so i had to get repairs on that bike so i'm really very really sorry if i can't do bmx videos today and i've just been doing reptile videos basically on this channel but i'm sorry i just gotta do it but in the meantime let's feed my fish board ones in the koi pond so yeah let's do that all you would need is a cup, plastic cup, or whatever cup you have. I, will, I prefer plastic. And then you go in your freezer and you get your board worms. Yeah. Pinch out the board worm. Put it in the cup. In the cup. Get another cup. And then fill it up with your water from your tank or pond. It's gonna be a little bit more loud out here. I'm sorry for the, the loudness. So I'm gonna put you guys up way up here. Got the blood worms in here. Got the blood worms. This one cute. Right now. Now, what I like to do is get a knife. So I'll get you guys my get back in the kitchen. As you guys can see, it's already started dissolving. It doesn't take that long, but if it takes too long, I don't like to wait that much because my fish need to eat. I just get a simple knife and just crush it up. Okay. I wash that later. And you that's how much water you guys will be needing. You don't need that much water, of course. But yeah, that's my pond water, and that'll feed the fish. I'm sorry again if it's really loud back here. This is where my air kitchen, this is where the air kitchen the units are and the koi pond right next to it. So yeah. And here we go. And boom. There they are. And that's how I feed my fish with the boardworms. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace.